is your local election headquarters. She's known for asking tough questions on Capitol Hill. Now she's making a push to be the next president. Senator Kamala Harris announcing plans to run against current President Donald Trump in 2020. Kain Law reports. Senator Kamala Harris announcing her presidential campaign's core principles on Martin Luther King Day. Truth, justice, decency, equality, freedom, democracy. These aren't just words. They're the values we as Americans cherish. And they're all on the line now. I intend to fight for truth and transparency and trust. I intend to fight. California's junior senator is notable both in biography I I and her two-year tenure in the Senate. Supporters hail Harris's rapid-fire questioning in the Senate from Supreme Court nominees. Can you think of any laws that give the government the power to make decisions about the male body? I'm not, a, I'm not a thinking of any right now, Senator. To Justice Department officials. He is, he has the. Yes or no, sir? He, he has the full independence that is authorized by those regulations. And Are Senator, you willing said, to do as has I, been done Would the senator suspend? Making more than one of them squirm. I'm not able to uh, be rushed this fast. It makes me nervous. A lot of the work I've done has been inspired. The native of Oakland says she embodies everything California stands for and what the president is against. She is the daughter of immigrants, a father from Jamaica, and a mother from southern India both active in the civil rights era. So it was about fighting for justice. It was about fighting to make sure that all people had a say in their future. Harris graduated from Howard University, returning to Oakland to become a prosecutor. As a San Francisco district attorney, Harris crafted innovative programs to reform the criminal justice system at a time when other prosecutors were taking a tough on crime approach. And despite political pressure from her own party, she refused to seek the death penalty against the killer of a police officer, sticking to a core campaign pledge and personal belief. Humbled to be chosen to be the next attorney general of the state of California. But she would defend the death penalty as California's first black woman attorney general, still personally opposed, but upholding state law, coming under fire from activists. I now declare you spouses for life. When the Supreme Court allowed marriage equality to stand in California, she officiated the first legal same-sex marriages in 2013. Any day that justice is delayed, I would suggest justice is denied. All part of her pledge to be a progressive prosecutor. It is a false choice to suggest that one is either in favor of the Second Amendment or in favor of reasonable gun safety rules. We can be both. That history is both an asset and an opening for attack. Um, we are so brave and uh, we are so. A question that may follow her to the campaign as it did on her book tour Is it possible to be both a top cop and a reformer for progressives? That was Ken Law reporting, and we'll be right back.